Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Welcome to our campus. Uh, I'm glad I can accompany you on this tour. Those are three outstanding questions you asked, which are, how do we measure a student's progress? How do we ensure a student has mastery of the subject? And how do we accommodate students with learning disabilities? So let me start with the first question. So I have 18 years as a math teacher, and uh, I like to do formative assessments. What's meant by that is daily quizzes or homework check-in, where at the beginning of class, we do a, maybe a short little homework quiz, maybe one or two questions that are similar to the previous night's homework, just to make sure they're doing the homework and keeping up with the material. The last we want is we want your child to cram for a class, right? So we wanna make sure they're um, doing frequent practice, that's imperative. And the way we assess that is through formative assessments, like again, quizzes, homework check-ins, or even a check out at the end of the class. Do they understand what happened in class? So that's typically how um, I would refer to check students' progress, not just a test at the end of three weeks, because what if they volunteer test and you find out, wow, where were we the last three weeks? We wanna make sure they're staying on top of the material on a daily basis. Um, the other part is how do we um, ensure a student has mastery of a subject? Of course, a, a test at the end of the unit could show mastery of a, of, of a subject, but what I would suggest is uh, have peer-to-peer -peer interaction. Can your child explain the material to a fellow classmate? And can they have a good back and forth conversation with each other? Um, oftentimes a good teacher should uh, not just be lecturing the whole time, but have a lot of collaborative work among the students and the role of the teacher should be less of a lecturer, more of a facilitator of discussions. So that's what um, how I would measure um, mastery is if I can hear the students talking math and be able to um, articulate abstract ideas that make sense. Yeah, I think that would show a strong mastery of, of the subject. And lastly, uh, how do we accommodate students with learning disabilities or I like to call learning differences to learning challenges? Um, I think the first thing is I need to read the IEP or the individual education plan or learning plan that we sometimes call it. Um, and kind of just understand like what is in there, like, you know, what are some of the um, challenges they've had? Or is it, you know, dyslexia, dys dyscalculia? Is it ADHD or ADD? You know, just good for me to know to read the report um, and what accommodations have been granted. Then have a meeting with you, your child, and maybe an academic advisor, just to make sure we're all on the same page. And if, uh, so I can ask questions, ask me questions or share more information. Um, and then of course, uh, what are the specific accommodations we need to grant and make sure those are granted. And just to make sure we have a solid plan in place in terms of like how often we should meet, um, what I need to do in the classroom to make sure like, do they need a note taker? Do I need to hand out notes, fill out notes to begin a class? So those are the things that uh, I think would be important um, to have that initial meeting and then have a plan in place and then stick to that plan.